While you may know of VOCR and other tools that she has created for the blind community, one that you may not have heard of is called FlowMouse, and that allows you to use your keyboard to simulate mouse clicks with modifiers. So if you ever had to control click or option click on something and you weren't able to make that happen, you can now use FlowMouse to simulate that. This requires Keyboard Maestro, so if you already got Keyboard Maestro installed, then you are good to go. Welcome back to the channel, VoiceOver Warriors and Keyboard Ninjas. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can use something like FlowMouse to get to the legacy plugins in Logic. All right, so I'm on the Flow Tools page here. You can visit flowtools.org and click on download or just click the link in the description below to get directly to the download page here. And if I turn on Quick Nav, Quick Nav on and jump to heading level one, download. You see I'm on the download page. I'm just gonna jump by links to find Flow Mouse. Share on Twitter, share on Face, share on Google, Flow Tools, Flow Tools, Flow Tools, Flow Tools, Flow Mouse V1.0.0 Alpha, link. There we go. So I'm gonna view a space Press on link. this. Flow Mouse V1.0.0 Alpha, Down And that just downloaded. I just paused voiceover with control key there. All right, so another thing of note, if I hit the L to jump by link one more time. Flow Numpad V1.0.0 Alpha, link. You got Flow Numpad as well, which simulates an extended keyboard. So that's also something else that might be worth checking out. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and download this as well. Press link, Flow Numpad. All right, so I'm gonna switch over to Finder now. Finder, desktop. And I'm gonna jump to my Downloads folder with Command Option L. Downloads, now in, Downloads, Window, Column View, Browser. Column View, Browser, Quick Nav off. And turn off Quick Nav there. Flow Mouse 1.0.0 Alpha, Folder. There we go, Flow Mouse. I'm gonna go into that folder with the right arrow because I'm in columns view. Install Flow Mouse app, group. And there we have the install Flow Mouse app command down arrow on that to run the installer. Open selection, application, alert, system dialog. Install Flow Mouse app is an app created by Safari. Are you sure you want to open it? Safari created help button, cancel, but open, default button. Go F ahead and Please wait. hit open. Application, alert, system dialog. Keyboard Maestro is launched in the background. Help button, don't allow button, okay button, okay, don't allow help. Install Flow Mouse app once access to control keyboard. Help, don't allow, okay button, don't allow Press. button, okay button, okay. Pre don't Finder, allow that. Flow Mouse 1.0.0 Alpha, window, column view, browser one item selected. Install Flow Mouse app, group, one of two. Install Flow Mouse, needs attention. Column view, browser one item selected. Install and I'm Flow Mouse. Switch over to Safari. Install Flow Mouse. Install Flow Mouse, alert, dialog. Installation is successfully completed. Installation is successfully completed. Okay, default button, press finder. All right, so that's it. We got that installed. I just, I just command tab back over to the installer and hit okay. So this is essentially a set of keyboard maestro macros. And that's essentially what the installer did was install the keyboard maestro macros. You may have heard it said there that it was launching keyboard maestro and we had to give it permission to control keyboard maestro. All right, so now that we got that taken care of, let's go ahead and open up logic and take a look at how we can use something like this to option click on an effect slot to bring up the legacy effects. So I'm here in Logic now and I'm in the mixer on a classic electric piano channel strip. Classic electric piano, partially hidden. And I'm gonna interact with the channel strip. Classic electric. Jump all the way to the top. Setting, button. With VO home and that's VO FN left arrow if you're on a laptop keyboard. And now I'm gonna navigate over to where I can swap out the instrument on this track. Off. Off. MIDI plugin, 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 E piano, group. E piano, so I'm gonna interact with this. E open, but list, button. And go over to list. And here I am on the list button, so I can swap out an instrument on a software instrument track in Logic. So to turn on flow mouse, you wanna do command slash, so command key and slash. Mouse on. And you hear it say mouse on. So now the accent key is gonna be a mouse click, so you wanna hold down option accent to option click on this list button. So I'm gonna do option accent. Option, menu 35 items, vintage electric piano, sub menu. No plugin, recent, dim, sampler, mu, quick sampler, bass slapper, complete, con, grand rhapsody, alchemy, sub, drum kit, dis, drum synth, EFM1, ESE, ESM, ESP, ES1, ES2, Evit 20P, quick sampler, retro synth, sampler, sculpture, studio horns, studio straight, ultra beat, vintage V3, vintage clap, hyphen, vi, vintage melatron, utility, legacy, sub, drum machine design, legacy, sub menu. And we have this legacy category here that usually doesn't show up otherwise unless you option click on the list button so now i just feel down arrow to legacy and let's see what's in here legacy sub menu 25 items analog basic sub analog mono sub menu analog pad sub menu analog swirls analog sync sub bass sub menu church organ sub digital basic digital mono digital stepper drum kits sub electric clap sub menu, electric piano sub external instrument like guitar sub menu external instrument legacy sub guitar sub menu horns sub menu, hybrid basic hybrid morph piano sub menu, sound effects strings sub tonal organ tune percussion voice sub menu woodwind sub menu woodwind sub menu Voice, sub tune percussion, tonal organ, strings, sub sound effects, sub piano, sub menu, 
Piano, stereo. And let's load up this piano. Press classic electric piano, classic electric piano, dialogue, classic electric piano. Toolbar, button, bypass, check, factory default, pop up button. And here you see we got this piano from the legacy library pulled up. And if I pull up the musical typing keyboard with command K. Musical typing, classic electric piano, dialogue. Factory default, pop up button. And you can go through and pull up a legacy instrument that way as well. I'm gonna close this with command Now W. DS. And I'm gonna go over to an effects slot. Piano, group, audio plugin, button. And now I'm on an audio plugin slot. I'm gonna do the same thing, option click. Option, menu 23 items, check mark, no plugin. And let's jump to the bottom of the list this time with view and. Audio units, sub audio units, sub menu. And then view up arrow. Legacy, sub menu. And now there we see the legacy category. So we can find old audio effects that you may have used in older versions of Logic. Case in point, Platinum Verb no longer shows up under the reverb. So it's gonna be here in legacy now. Legacy, sub menu 12 items, A verb, sub menu, base amp, sub menu, DSR, sub menu. So you see you got the old bass amp, the old DSR now that we have DSR 2. Denoiser, sub menu, EQ, sub menu, Goldberg, sub menu, Groove the Shifter, sub menu, Guitar Amp Pro, sub menu. The old amp sim before amp designer. Platinum Verb, sub menu. And Platinum Verb, there we go. So let's load Platinum Verb. So I'm gonna hit return on this. Platinum Verb, classic, class toolbar, but bypass, check, check box. Factory default, pop up button. And there you go, pretty much standard plugin window. You can still get to all the parameters. So if you use some of these stuff in older versions of Logic, when you load the project, they'll still come up. But if you're trying to find them to put them in new projects and you don't have a patch or preset or channel strip preset with them saved in there, you can option click and use a legacy category. And that is where something like Flow Mouse can come in handy for you. All right, now one last thing to remember is that you want to turn Flow Mouse off when you're done using it, and you can toggle it off with Command Slash again. If you don't turn it off, you'll go to do something like Command Accent to switch between Windows and Logic. Menu, 25 items. And end up Command clicking on something. Closing menu, factory default, pop up button. So just remember when you're done to Command Mouse off. Slash again to turn off flow mouse so that way when you do command accent. Now in DS, tracks, window, tracks, contents, group. You will switch between windows and logic or when you do option accent, you'll expand or collapse track stacks as per usual. All right, check out flow mouse, link in the description below. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for checking this out. If you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by making a donation at paypal.me slash logic.band, link in the description below. You can also get some one-on-one -on -one training if you want to dive deep in any of these topics surrounding logic or if you're new to Mac and want to get up to speed with voiceover you can visit logic.band slash training for some one-on-one -on -one tutoring and once again there is a link to that in the description below also don't forget to check the description below for a link to relevant tutorials here on youtube and or to the blog on logic.band that has some supplemental information for this tutorial hope you found that useful and helpful please feel free to like and subscribe and share this with someone you know who's new to logic and voiceover as always everyone until next time happy recording